When I was about five or six years old, my mom was cleaning offices. I said, I was like, Mommy, one day, can I clean desks as good as you can? My mom kind of smiled and she stopped and she like looked me right in the eye and she's like, one day that desk will be yours and she's like, and your name will be on it. I'm in New York and I'm trying to become a journalist. But this is what I've always wanted to do and it's just amazing to be here. I'm living out my dream. Very stressful, there's a lot of pressure. There's sometimes a little bit of yelling. I am reading through news wires, seeing what cool video is out there, trying to get the hot stories. So pretty much just getting any of the news of the day to my boss to see what they'd like to use on the show. As long as I get it done, my producer's happy, and my job is to make my producer happy and the anchors look good. To be with the people out in the field is my ultimate goal, but this is just where I start. Right now, I'm just paying my dues, hopefully, to become the journalist that I want to be one day. So even though my mom lives in Atlanta and I'm out here in New York, we do everything we possibly can to keep in contact with one another, whether it's talking on the phone or when she comes in the city, we go and get her favorite food or walk around in her favorite place. You want apricot and orange? Okay. I'm trying to get her to go to Trinidad. Next year, make a promise. It's on camera. <laughs> I was born in Trinidad and I'm an only child. When I was 12 years old, my dad decided to leave my mom and I to marry another woman. I was so close with my father, it literally ripped my world apart and I didn't really understand. I remember I was begging him to stay. I didn't know where he was gonna go. My mom had to do anything to make ends meet. She picked up three jobs. She was working as an accountant. She was still cleaning offices. She gave up a lot in order for me to go to school and get an education. When I was younger, I never let my mom see me cry because someone always had to be there for her. And um, I knew I needed to step up and be that person. I learned that I could be a strong person. I could be an individual. My life wasn't over. And because of that experience, my mom and I have become best friends. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. <laughs> this is the other half of my life. I make sure that she called me when she reached home, so then I know, okay, I'm at ease. My mom calls me like four or five times a day. I doubt she'll ever let me get married. She's very overprotective. <laughs> There were definitely times where my faith was tested and my family is far from perfect. But my mom taught me the importance of hard work and sacrifice and I wouldn't change my experience for any other. My name is Anita Stelisai. I'm a journalist. I'm a daughter. I believe that if I work my hardest at everything I do, I can accomplish anything and I'm a Mormon.